welcome to my class in this class again we are going to talk about classification of computers all computers can be classified on the basis of following three criteria according to purpose in our previous video we talk about general purpose computer and special purpose computer according to technology used that there are three types of computers analog digital and hybrid computers in this particular class we will talk about computers according to size and capacity according to size speed and capacity when we talk about according to size it refers to whether the computers are big or small speed it refers to the speed at which data is processed and capacity it refers to memory storage of the computer so computer can be classified on the basis of size speed and capacity and we can say that we have a series of computers at the topmost we have supercomputer mainframe computers mini computers workstations microcomputers personal computers pcs and desktop and the last categories in the case of portable computers we have laptop and palm top let us discuss all these one by one the first one is supercomputers a supercomputer is a computer which stands at the top of processing capacity particularly in terms of speed of calculation supercomputers were introduced in the 1960s and were designed primarily by Cray Seymour at Control Data Corporation CDC and later at Cray Research Center these are the largest fastest and most expensive computer systems these are normally not used for commercial data processing this is very fast supercomputer produced by IBM and named it as blue gene these computers are designed to process complex scientific application such as weather forecasting etc this speed and power makes supercomputers ideal for handling large and highly complex problems that require extreme calculating power supercomputer mainly does the parallel processing that is a supercomputer implies number of processors which work in parallel to perform number of complex operations simultaneously it can support tens of thousands of terminals simultaneously its instruction processing speed is normally in trillions of instruction per second india and supercomputer in the year 1998 the center for development of advanced computing cdac produced the first supercomputer in india and named it as param param is a series of supercomputers the param 10000 was india's first supercomputer other major suppliers of supercomputers are cray ibm and sun microsystems etc according to size speed and capacity the next in the category is mainframe computers mainframe computers are computer mainly used by large organizations for important applications typically bulk data processing such as census study and financial transaction processing they are very large and fast computers but small and slower than supercomputer this is the photograph of ibm mainframe computer they are used in centralized location where many terminals are connected with one cpu and thus allow different user to share the single cpu the processing speed of mainframe computer is measured in mips MIPS stands for millions of instructions per second. They have very high memory and can support thousands of users. 
This is the example of IBM 9000 mainframe computer. Now what are the different applications of mainframe computers? The mainframe computers can be used for railway and airline reservations, banking applications, commercial applications of big companies. Now let's make a distinction between mainframe computer and supercomputer. Features Mainframe computers are powerful, cheaper in cost, quite big and fast computers. Whereas supercomputers are the most powerful, very expensive and biggest and the fastest computers. Mainframes are used in airlines, network banking and railway reservation etc. Supercomputers are used in defense, in entertainment applications like computer generated movies, electronics and petroleum industry. The processing speed of mainframe computer. Their speed is measured in megaflops, millions of floating point arithmetic operations per second. The supercomputer speed is measured in nanosecond and gigaflops, 1 billion floating point arithmetic operations per second. Mainframe computers derive their speed from their capability that is called multiprogramming. Supercomputers derive their speed from the use of multiprocessing. Mainframes can support up to 1000 terminals at a time. Supercomputers can support up to 10,000 terminals at a time. On the basis of size, speed and capacity, many computers are at the third place. Mini computers or mini frame computers are one and the same thing. Mini frame computers perform data processing activities in the same way as the main frame. These computers are medium scale, smaller and generally slower than main frame computers. Like main frames, many terminals can be attached to the mini frame. Therefore, it can support many users. The cost is less as compared to mainframes. Example is IBM AS400. This is IBM AS400 mini frame computer. After mini computers, we have workstations. In terms of processing power, there is a class of computers between mini computer and micro computer and those computers are termed as workstations. A workstation is a computer which typically looks like a personal computer but they are still more powerful than the present day personal computer. However, the differences in the capabilities of personal computers and workstation are becoming less and less. The significant differences between workstations and microcomputers are internally workstations are designed differently than microcomputers. They are based on different design of CPU called reduce instruction set computing risk which leads to faster processing of instruction in comparison to microcomputers. The second difference is workstation generally run on Unix operating system are a variation of it. Whereas most microcomputers can run on any of the four major operating system that is DOS, Unix, OS2 and Microsoft Windows. The biggest manufacturer of workstation is Sun Microsystem. Although major players in this field are IBM, HP and Silicon Graphics. Next in this category is microcomputers personal computers, PCs or desktop. These are one and the same thing. 
माइक्रो कंप्यूटर इज पॉपुलरली कॉल्ड एज पर्सनल कंप्यूटर पीसी माइक्रो कंप्यूटर्स आर इधर डेस्कटॉप आर पोर्टेबल मॉडल दीज आर स्मॉलेस्ट डिजिटल कंप्यूटर विच यूजेज ए माइक्रो प्रोसेसर एज इट सीपीयू माइक्रो प्रोसेसर इज ए सिंगल चिप इंटीग्रेटेड सर्किट सीपीयू माइक्रो कंप्यूटर्स आर लो कॉस्ट कंप्यूटर्स these computers use variety of user friendly software to make the operations very simple in the last categories we have portable computers that is laptop and palm top laptops are tablets laptops are tablet computers are small size full fledged desktop versions they are approximately 8.5 to 17 inches in size and can fit inside a briefcase easily laptops or tablets can operate on alternate plug in current or special batteries thank you very much